dear students today we are going to see what is value education is about value education is the aggregate of all the process by means of which a person develops abilities attitudes and other forms of behavior of the positive values in the society in which he lives so value education is not one single unit it's an aggregate of a complete personality of a human being okay we are talking about the complete personality of a human being his attitude his behavior his abilities his perceptions everything okay what is the purpose of value education it is to develop the personality in all possible aspect in a student to develop right values in the student to develop thinking ability that is sustainable thinking and a democratic way of living to develop good citizenship and to elevate the standard of living and to have inculcate right behavior in a student and to develop tolerance and a kind person in this world now let us see the outcome of this value education what is the expected outcome of this value education right so first when we started as a kid we were started doing things based on the instruction given to us right we started behaving according to it right if they are asking us to walk run say recite uh, um, rhymes like that we started working on that we started behaving according to it right it may be because of these may be carried away because of fear or incentive right the first level is you may be asked to do some things for a chocolate for an ice cream right you may be asked to do it sometimes you are forcefully okay you are threatened you are scolded and asked to do things right because of fear we may be doing it in this case the conduct is indefinite always we cannot expect the same output right every time the instruction is given you may we may not be able to or uh, give the same output right the child may not be able to give us same output child or uh, any person who is carried away by incentive or a fear will not give every time the same output because it is a forced output so conduct is indefinite in this case next level we have been teaching with moral sciences right moral education moral uh, stories have been told from based on that we start developing our own belief systems morals etc so we have been preconditioned carried away by the moral sciences right here when the moral sciences have been taught to you moral stories have been told our thinking ability is started okay we started thinking it okay we have a we based on that uh, stories based on this moral education we started to have our own ideas everything so we are preconditioned here we are preconditioned we are not forced right but we are preconditioned in this case the conduct is also again indefinite but it is little raised above the previous one because we have started thinking here so this thinking may break at any point so they say it is indefinite because we have been preconditioned with the moral values moral stories everything this may in future may break up and you may have a different opinion upon what you were preconditioned right so in this case also the conduct is indefinite right now when our conduct is going to be definite right when we are going to have a right understanding when we start thinking and then we should have right understanding okay and we should be followed by carried away by our own natural acceptance not by the preconditioned belief but by the natural acceptance one we have our own natural acceptance in doing things okay then 
whatever we understand will be definite it will be universal it will be invariant it will be right world view and it will be perspective okay it may it will turn out to be universal and it will be naturally acceptable in this case human conduct turns out to be definite throughout any time any day if we are asking it it will be uh, having a same type of behavior same type of attitude same type of thinking everything then in that case the human conduct turns out definite so what is the uh, outcome of our value education we want our value education to turn out to be definite in conduct human conduct should turn out to be definite he should follow only his natural acceptance he should listen to his natural acceptance okay then if everyone start listening to their own natural acceptance then it uh, everything is going to be universal in nature everyone is going to have right world view perspectives right now value education what does value education say how do you understand this value education right if we have right understanding when we have right understanding then we are into value education what is right understanding that is when anything is questioned to you whether you are able to uh, find out what is right and what is wrong about it whether it is good whether it is bad whether it is right whether it is wrong you are able to identify it correctly then we call it as right understanding okay so when value education is imparted into a human being then he will have a right understanding he knows what is right what is wrong so this right, right understanding leads to your natural acceptance a human being's natural acceptance what is this this natural acceptance is something which is a universal truth what is universal truth it is same for every person it is same for person who lives in india it is same for person who lives in america it is same for person who lives in australia it is same for a person who lives in in switzerland anywhere africa south africa right so it is an universal truth which is naturally acceptable and why to accept this the uh, thing is we need, we can verify it whether it is universal truth whether it is naturally acceptable whether whether it is right or wrong you can verify it on your own natural acceptance status right then another thing why we have to accept it naturally if we have a doubt on it you can experiment it and you can find out whether it is right or wrong also then it is naturally acceptable right understanding natural acceptance if these two concept one has understood clearly and then we can say he has learned what is value education he is into his right path in his journey let us take an example so, uh, consider you are you are doing your final year project right so what do you think now uh, let me do the project in artificial intelligence or uh, let me do it in cloud computing in blockchain in machine learning in java coding or iot or let me do it with deep learning skills right but what are all these things all these things talk about how to do this project all these are skill based so finally a project is told automatically to our mind comes is all these things right being artificial intelligence students you will be thinking about doing project on these things and which are the booming areas also right so these are how to do and these are skill based and all the four years you have been taught to develop your skill and there is nothing wrong in it in this how to do we have learned okay then what is value education well, if you have learned this value education where to start what is that so how my project should be what my project should be it should have be sustainably development today the world is needing a technology which is sustainable in nature right 
or i am is my project is going to solve any social problems is my project is going to solve any farmer problem using the technologies the farmer is benefited out of it or uh, am i in the path of making india right or i am uh, this project may lead to start up using msme so that we uh, india can have its own production company or uh, my project is in the direction of climate change which is a global problem am i going to do a project on global warming using these all these technology on the left side right or uh, are my project is my project is going to be helping a physically challenged persons right so all these things talk about what to do right value based all these are value based right so what to do followed by how to do will uh, make a person complete right what to do is value based that is your value education where to start right so what to do which sector you have to select just like that just solving a problem okay not solving any social issue not solving any national issue not doing anything to the society not doing anything to the nature what is the use of doing a project right so what to do we must be very clear about it that comes first and then followed by how to do which is a skill base which everyone is well versed so here where we slightly lag is what to do value based so here in uhv we are teaching what is value based right so let us learn about the value what is a value value is a unit does not change with time place and person value of a, any unit will not change with time place or a person let us see with an examples right so here we have a pen what is the value of a pen to write legibly to write neatly right so this value will not change with time right olden days also pen was used only for writing okay and if it is uh, if we are if we want to write it in some other part of the country right it will it will have the same value same pen is used only for writing any part of the country we take any part of the world we go right for person any person uses this pen and write it will only write it so value does not change with time place and person it is universal okay each unit has its own value right now we have papers papers what is the purpose it is used for printing script writing script right so its value same for every person and it is same for uh, all the times right so that is the value of it and what is this the road so what is the value of a road connecting two cities two countries right connecting two cities so it is the it helps the traveler to travel and uh, from one city to another city so road purpose of road is to connect two cities everywhere it is the same all times it will be the same right yeah now we have transport here so cycle what is the purpose of cycle just for traveling shorter distances right so that is going to be the same value every time and then we have car here we have in cycle it is one person who can travel here we have four person traveling with more technology with the fuel consumption everything so again it is for traveling purposes four to five people can travel in a car right so value of car is for traveling that's it yeah here we have another thing we can see fruits here mango what is the value of a mango to value of a mango is to uh, quench the hunger right it is to quench the hunger of a person uh, maybe not person maybe animal maybe human be anything it is used to just quench your hunger
until now we were talking about the values of certain units in nature right just like pen bicycle road mango like that right let me uh, put a question what is the value of a human do you know our own values what is our value in this nature right value of a human take a time and think and then answer me so what is the value of a human is helping other units in nature what is other unit it could be anything it could be your own friend it could be your own peer it could be your own family members it could be anyone in the society it could be helping your nation it could be helping the whole uh, world or helping the environment by maybe by planting trees right you are helping the nature you are helping the sustainability you are trying to bring sustainability in the earth right so a value of a human according to me could be helping the any unit in the nature a man is a so great creature on this earth who has all potential to help nurture any unit in this world right so this could be a broader class of a value for a human you may have sub classes many sub classes because it's a, he is such a great creature by na uh, nature right so he can do we have the capacity to do anything and everything right so major very important values helping other unit in nature right uh, let me close this session by telling a very small story uh, just to understand the value of a unit right uh, a kid and a mother was into a market where kid was asking uh, ice cream balloon uh, like that all dolls everything mother was uh, refusing everything she bought only chocolates for her and then uh, when she started asking everything she was refusing everything and they were into the market suddenly in the market the child was more fascinated towards the doll and it stood into the it stood there itself uh, attracted by the doll and mother uh, started uh, when mother left the child unknowingly un uh, unknowingly and after some time uh, the child discovered that there is a uh, mother is missing okay it started crying immediately it started crying so the nearby people so nature of human i said helping right they start trying to help the child and they wanted to immediately stop the crying of a baby and everyone started offering something they said you are we can find out your mom but by then you can have this ice cream you can have this doll the attracted doll but the child was telling no i don't want this i want my mom right it said it was a few minutes back it was longing for all these things ice cream chocolates dolls everything and suddenly now after 5 minutes it's uh, the importance of the chocolate doll everything has come down the importance for a mother has start grown up right so value that is the really we understand what is the value of another unit into this world right thank you children thank you students we, we, we shall meet in the next class